This is John Martin at 6390 Farmview Drive in Ackworth. Uh, here's the pool. I was wanting to put that fire pit off the back wall there. It's outlined in white. Um, I've got the steps on each side. So I'm not sure about the measurements. Um, you may want to tell me what you think. But I was thinking maybe 12 feet by 12 feet. Um, I measured out 12 feet from the wall out to here and then 12 feet between these lines here. And I think Reeves had originally set up a 42 inch fire pit. Now I don't know if he's talking about the inner part is 42 inches and then it extends out from there or what. But obviously I just needed all proportion correctly. And it's not really a round set up. It's more like kind of straight out and then rounded back over here. Um, as far as the walkway over, I was thinking about um, maybe get a price for the flagstone walkway, which would bump up right next to the mulch there and walk it around and then kind of widen it out into the steps here on both sides. But my other option to try to maybe save some costs would be to do those stones like that um, in place of the flagstone walkway around on both sides because we really like the big stones like that and the grass growing around it. Um, this side, as far as the footage, measuring around this way, up to that point, that's about 27 feet that come around this way. Fire pit I measured out at 12 by 12. With a, the, the outline is 42 inches, the outer ring there, so. I don't know, if the, again, if that's the inner part of it or the outer part of it. It seems like if it's a 42 inch and that's the outer ring, it'd be too small inside. But anyway, and then over here for the walkway, um, it's about 18 feet from the steps to that line right there. And the other considerations that we need to consider, I've got the stacked stone wall here, so I, I'd like for it to blend somewhat. I guess the the actual patio part, we could figure maybe flagstone. Um, I probably think that might look better than pavers. Um, but the other thing we're going to think about doing is the coping's widen, wider here, so we're going to utilize that as a countertop. So we're planning on putting maybe, I don't know, three or four chairs right here maybe. And as you can see, the height right now is about 33. A countertop level, I think, is 34 to 36 inches. Although bar height would be nice, but it, it would have to go down to 40 to 42 inches um, to get bar height stools in there. But either one would be fine. Um, but we do have the drop off here. So <coughs> I didn't know if, uh, and one thing I got to worry about is um, if, if we build it up to level it. I don't want, you know, people drinking, falling off the back side over here. Uh, if we've got to build some kind of a, a wall or something around this side. Either that or do do we dig down, dig the fire pit down to where it's actually um, a step in to the fire pit. I don't know if that would be a good idea because it might hold water, you know, from rains and stuff like that. But I'll just uh, listen to what you have to say about that kind of stuff whether we need to build it up and then do some kind of protection around this back end. And then of course that would have to dig down a little bit anyway to get the seats in there because it's built up a little bit too much right now. So yeah, just let me know. 404-587-6626. Thank you.